Lay it again, lay it again. Who would have thought that would have been the third alarm clock to fail me this week? Of course, that means no time for breakfast. Not if I want to have time to do the things I am actually willing to be late for. Though I think I forgot my lunch while stumbling out the door. <sighs> That's to be expected, but I still have a pretty good feeling about today. After all, where are the odds that six cameras will all fail to capture my target on their morning route? Each waterproof, with 72 hours worth of space stored on the SD cards, posted at every angle of the street possible. Where are the chances I won't at least capture a glimpse of my precious target? <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. I, I shan't refer to them as such. Not until I've earned it, at the very least. Not until I've finally gotten a good look. A good, long look. They're always there, and yet I feel like I've never been able to really see them with the way I have to avoid their gaze. They're always there, and they're always helping. My target truly is so kind. Recovering lost homework, telling me when to duck during gym, warning of which side roads have construction. It's like they know more about my misfortune than I. I don't even know their name. I don't think we're even in the same class, but... <sighs> I want to know. <laughs> I want to know so bad. I truly couldn't stand it if my own tendency for unluckiness were to lead to an unfavorable outcome for them after all this time they spent being so kind, but I just can't help myself. When will a good thing like this come to meet me ever again? They might even be just the thing to even the odds. I can't help but be curious to see what will happen in regards to... Oh no, oh no! My cameras! <sighs> that's... Uh, that's what I get. I thought I learned my lesson after that dry land monsoon last week that resulted in me buying all my cameras waterproof from this point on, but... <laughs> I guess grade A surveillance gear is just no match for wherever a bird wants to build her nest. <laughs> <sighs> I guess it's that time of year. <laughs> I can't get mad at such a thing. Perhaps I should get to work on some crash-proof casings for them for next week. If they aren't too damaged to run videos at the very least. Though, this one seems to be working okay. <sighs> what a stroke of luck! Hmm. Now the time is... 9.42. School starts at 8, and my target has mentioned in idle conversation that they leave their house at 10.15 on the dot for a 30-minute walk to school, so they should be passing along the street on the route at 7.30, and they... They aren't there. How unfortunate. I have missed them. <laughs> Yet again. Or worse. A lot worse. No. <laughs> no, no. I... I can't think like that. If I think something good is going to happen, something bad does. But if I think something bad is going to happen, something worse will. And I, I cannot inflict that upon my target. I can't. I just... <laughs> I am sure they just... Overslept. A little. Or took a different route to school. Or realized that 
It's weird to walk the same route every day when there's one that takes half the time from their house to the school that they seem to be avoiding for absolutely no reason. <laughs> something simple. Something benign. Something that isn't bad for once. 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 Please. Come on. Please. 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 This... This can't be my fault. Again. I can't do this to somebody else. I can't just... Do this to another person I have grown to. I can... I can counteract it. I just have to make something... Something worse happen. Something far, far worse happen to me. And then they... Then my target, then they... They can be... They... They will be... <laughs> okay! <clears throat> You're... okay! Well... as okay as light can be. What happened to you? School started almost two hours ago. Don't try to tell me you were playing hooky on my watch and everything. I wouldn't tell a soul if you are, though. I'm... I'm... <laughs> I'm crying? <laughs> oh, don't be silly. I'm... Oh! <laughs> I... I am crying. You didn't answer my question, though. Just why is the perfectly punctual protege late? <sighs> oh, yeah, um... Wouldn't you know? After the... After the journalists and, and tech clubs were already so kind enough to pull their resources for their wonderful camera program. As you can see, an accident kinda sorta happened and I'm I'm kind of upset because I don't know how I'm gonna break it to them. Surely you can understand. I don't even know if I could stand to see them. They'd they'd probably want me to kneel or bow and beg for forgiveness or lick their shoe with how utterly shattered these things are. That's why I'm crying. Ah, it's... It's silly, right? I shouldn't fall apart so easily over such simple, silly things. Especially considering how often these sort of unfortunate happenings will happen to me. So, you don't have to worry about... <laughs> well, if you truly insist, but I don't think that's such a good idea. I have such a reputation that there's a chance that the students you're speaking to may as well pretend that they don't know who I am just to avoid dealing with the consequences of my, well, <laughs> to call it a condition would be exceptionally rude to those who are truly suffering, but Cyclone of Calamity feels accurate enough. But if you'd like to walk with me, I'd be- Whoa! I- I tripped. Thank you for catching me, though. Last thing I need is to break yet another one of these things. I'm truly grateful to you, but I understand if you'd like to keep your distance. It's selfish of me to make assumptions and selfish of me to ask when I haven't been able to even look you in the eye to do so, but I can't help but want to ask if you'd like to walk to school with me. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, forgive my apology, uh, but you tend not to take anything for granted when you realize it can be stripped away from you. Why do you think I always skip lunch? No four-leaf clover can fix that, but we've only gotten an inkling of this kind of idea to begin with, so why am I monologuing to you? Ah, <sighs> well, school's only fifteen minutes away, you know. If we walk, we should be able to reach it by third period at the very least. Now, come on. You have to tell me why you're late. I'm dying to know at this point, especially since you're usually so on schedule. What could possibly make you so late? A broken alarm clock. Is that what you say? How unlucky is that?